So today we have Kyoko from Machakos County who's tuned in and saying, you girls look very lovely. Thank you very much, Kyoko. So his question, my girlfriend and I have an issue I would like your advice on, okay? So we went to her home and her family gave me a good reception. Unfortunately, her uncles looked very skeptical. Now, wao ndo wanachukua mahari. What do I do? Kiyoko, I understand you. I understand exactly where you're coming from. And this is actually the plague with the African setup, you know. Because if you and your girl are in love, okay, she makes you happy, you make her happy, you have decided we're going to be together for life, okay? We are doing this, me and you, against the world. However, in our customs, just for formalities, you know, let's go introduce so that our people know, where are you taking our daughter? Where are you taking our son? So it's just a formality. You are two consenting adults who have decided to do life together. So for formality's sake, you go and see each other's family. For formality's sake, you have to do the customs, the dowry and everything. However, in, uh, in, in, in utopia, you know, you expect that the families, it will go through seamlessly, you know. You're just doing a token of appreciation. It's not supposed to be an exhaustion scheme, please. Because why are you asking for three million? Why are you asking for five million? Why are you saying, oh, our daughter is educated, please reimburse her. Kwani, you are doing it to the, you know, why are you raising this girl so that she, you can cash in on her later on, you know? And most of all, it's her uncles. It's not even her parents. It's not even her mother and father. Mm -hmm. And that's usually the problem. The uncle you last saw on your eighth birthday and he had passed by your rural area, you know, by mistake as he was headed to a funeral, you know. That's the last time you ever saw this man. But now that you're getting married, they now want to come and say, you know, we, we have raised our daughter. Please pay us, you know. Don't be worried about these things, okay? As long as you and your girl are good, do not be worried about these things. Furthermore, she should stick up for you. She should also talk to her family and say, listen, me and Kyoko are starting out life. Please do not exhort, extort him, you know. Don't do all these things just because, you know, you can she will stick up for you. I had a friend of mine who went to, for this dowry negotiations. Kufika huko, wanambiwa at his jiwa toy, five million, his jiwa toy, adi wanunwe di matatu. Matatu for what? At one of the uncles, amekuwa kikaka huko kwa village aimlessly. Wamunulia matatu. And at the end of the day, you're thinking, Kwani, I came to, to liberate this family from financial. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a lot. So just make sure that your girl sticks up for you. You break up because of such a small thing. I think, yeah, it's, it's you and your girl. The rest is noise. Sometimes I think about these things and I feel you, Kyoko, because I am going through the exact same thing. Uncle mm. will embarrass you. Mm. Uncle, 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 where you are, you will embarrass people because it feels like it's just an extortion scheme. And I will give you an example of something that was asked for for my own ratio. Now, mm. as in as, as recent as last week. Please tell us. <laughs> <laughs> my poor fiance, I feel so bad for What did they ask for? <laughs> I was <laughs> I was really looking at this list and just cracking up. Because this is the most hilarious thing I have seen. Ninety nine goats. Jesus. One bull, one cow, uh -huh. and honey. That is just the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Have you ever heard of a list that has honey in the mix of sure. cows and, and, and goats? It's like they were writing the list and then your auntie's like, Hakuna Asali. Hakuna, you know what I mean? asali it, is, <laughs> it is just so funny. And by the way, for this honey, there's a thing called Kohoya Oke. Okay. Mm. So I'm asking... You've already been given honey. Mm -hmm. Why are you still borrowing honey? Mm -hmm. Why do you still need more money to borrow for honey? Do you know, some of these things because are hilarious. Because eating the honey for free. And it's, then, it's you. You are the honey. And then, so representation I matters. Asked, I asked my father, uh -huh. you have sent this list. It's uh -huh. amazing. And by the way, that is just the bottom of the list. There is part one, part two, part three, and it continues. That was just a few things. Materials so are I asked mama. my father, uh -huh. Ziko kuju, Ziko kuju. Yeah? And... <laughs> Imagine the whole village dressing in drip, courtesy of your fiance. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> so we are with 99 goats, 
So I asked my father, fine. Yes, it's not your responsibility to ask. It is the uncles who have asked. But where are you taking 99 goats? Mm. In which property are you going to keep these ones? You have a ranch that I am not aware of somewhere. Mm -hmm. Do you have a ranch that can hold your 99 goats? Because it is just absurd. What the balcony. kinds of... What <laughs> Balcony. And mm. one cow and one bull mm. so that they can procreate. Because you it's know, Nairobi, you know. I'm like, where in Nairobi are you keeping 99 goats? And, and, and where, are they? how are you even feeding these 99 goats once you have them? You know, for me, it's just hilarious how uncles will embarrass you. In addition to that, mm. he did really embarrass me. Hmm? I will not even bring it up here because, well, now you have to tell us. No, I cannot. Yeah. That was just way too much to the point where I now had to call out my auntie because of my uncle, sorry. I just, I literally shut him down because he was doing entirely too much and it was now starting to become an embarrassment. Look, Mr. Kiyoko, mm. listen to me. This is what you do. You and your fiance, you and your girl, you and your woman, you and this woman who you've already made a decision you want to spend the rest of your life with. It is your life. You're starting out. Maybe you're not starting out. Maybe you guys are well, um, <clears throat> well, 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 you know, you're, you're elite. You are affluent. Doesn't matter. Uncles will always try and strain your marriage and your relationship. So here's what you do. You need to sit down with your girlfriend, your wife, your fiance. I don't know what you call her. And try and explain to her that she needs to keep her house in order. Mm. She needs to call her parents because well she may not be able to talk to her uncles but she can talk to her own parents tell her parents this and this and this and this is what is going to happen when they have a direction when your parents have a direction then they inform the rest of the people but if they don't know either and they're kind of shooting in the dark it will continue to be an apocalyptically difficult journey and all this for one day imagine rorashio ni skumoja skumoja one day you can end your whole relationship because of one day so that is the lesson that i have learned in my own experience and i think you should apply tell your girlfriend this and this and this and this and then proceed with one um a, as one the two of you are one proceed in that way mm -hmm. have one line of communication one channel you're communicating with and this is a channel that is being passed on to others and therefore they know how to act because at the end of the day you don't need these people to be honest you really don't you really genuinely don't you can choose just to Imagine forget about being it. asked for soap forget about it still wire it's madness because why are you asking me for still wire it's madness. why are you asking my fiance for household goods and kofias and suits. Yeah, I'm telling you, I was laughing because I'm like, who? But hakuna majani chai, majani chai six, six packets. Who is wearing what? a suit? Your own father, my own father doesn't wear a suit. What was but that somehow reason? it's being asked for. Uncles will embarrass you, mate. The they uncles will. So try and get your girl to get her house in order by telling her father and mother and parents, this is where, this we, is are. where we are at. Yeah. And this is the line we're trying to proceed with. And they will then pass this information to the uncles. Mm -hmm. And then it will it will become seamlessly simple. At all, but your budget, them. Loki. Be a yeah. This is our budget. Yes. Make Work it clear. Yeah. Make it clear so that you don't also get yourself in a situation where now everyone hates you. Because, I mean, clearly they already don't like you. Let's not make it worse. So these are my pieces of advice. Moving on swiftly, we hope we have helped you. And if you are going through um, a Rurashio, Kohandai Vege, all of these funny, funny things, let us know how you've dealt with it so that we can be able to pass this information forward. And for some of us, so that you can be able to apply it. Because, well, it's a lot.